a great way to end the season at, at home today with a three-set win over St. Peter's. Talk about the match. Um, well, you know, it was good going in. We all know us seniors, the seven of us, our last match. So it's good to win at home, to finish at home, and to have a good memory of leaving. You know, it was very pretty, but we got it done, and sometimes the scoreboard's all that matters. Talked about uh, one of the keys I, I saw is that you guys switched up the rotation, the L1 and the L2. And both of both of them stepped up in the, in the match with Teresa and Alicia having 11 kills apiece. Uh, Friday night it was the middles that were hitting the ball. Today it was the outside hitters. Talk about that and how you guys can play off that. Well, that's just a really good thing for us to have diversity in our team and our offense. You know, if our middles can put the ball down and if our outsides can put the ball down, it gives us a lot of options and it keeps the other teams guessing. You know, they never know who we're going to go to. And you saw that tonight a lot got a lot of splits out on the outsides. Um, well, it's a lot of single blocks, and that was really good for our team, and it's something we need to grow on and develop, you know, going into Florida in the next week and a half. Like you said, you got Florida coming up in two weeks, but you have two last matches. Again, you're in good shape for to finish in second place and get the number two seed. What's going to take to remain focused and, you know, get a couple good wins on the road for the last two matches? Well, it's always tough to go and play in Siena. You know, they've, they've generally had a really good team, and we handled them at home. So a big thing for us this weekend against these two teams is knowing that they're in the bottom half. They have nothing to lose, and we have to go in there and play our game. We have to play just as competitively and as strong against teams in the bottom as we do against teams in the top, like Niagara and Canisius last weekend. So it'll be a good test for us this week to come out and put another solid week of practice together and another good weekend together. And if we can do that, which we're totally Really capable of staying focused we're gonna have a good shot in Florida well great job tonight and we'll Thank talk you. to you uh, after you guys come back next was a three set win over st. Peter's wasn't pretty but it was a good way to end the season at home mm -hmm. it was I mean we came out we came out pretty strong but then the second set we usually uh, struggle it's we've, been, we've had that um, like that's been our downfall the second set so I mean I'm just glad we won that and then we cleaned it up in the third set so that's all that counts a win is a win well, in the second set, you guys kind of got a taste of the future when, you know, a lot of, all the freshmen got a little bit of taste and, uh, you know, the young players got in there. What was it like to play there where, you know, all of a sudden you're one of the, the, uh, the stars and you don't have seniors to lean on in the, in the, in the lineup? I mean, I don't consider uh, it much of a difference. I mean, I know that uh, the seniors are a big powerhouse for us and they are 99% of the team, but the freshmen that Allen's brought in and the sophomores and the lower classmen, I think they do a good job. At practice, we don't really tell the difference between the seniors and the lower classmen, so I think that we can be ready for next year with them and not really worry about having to adjust too much. And kind of a different role for you today. You get switched up to the, the top L1, L1 position, yeah. and you got uh, 24 swings, 11 kills, and you hit 375, you know? Was it any, I mean, it's, it's a little bit of a different rotation, and I noticed you got confused in there when you're coming in and out at, at, at times. Yeah, but. the first one, I just thought I just got ahead of myself, and I went in too quickly. The second one, I was, I was right, and I was supposed to be in the front row, but we were just confused because I think of the first time I messed up. But, uh, I mean, switching me to the L1, he just wants Teresa to not have so much on her shoulders because she does much better when she's um, she kind of has some room to breathe. So I think that's his plan. And, I mean, I'm okay with that, so. <laughs> well, great game today, and uh, good luck. The last weekend of the season, next weekend, you take on Ryder and Sienna, and then it's the MAC Championships in District. Three set win tonight. It wasn't pretty, but it was a win, and it was a good way to end the season at home. Sure, sure. Yeah, I mean, you know, we talked in the locker room about the fact that we need to go out and play our, our match and, and dictate the flow of play, and we struggle with that at times. I, you know, I think a lot of teams do, but, you know, that's the difference in being good and being great. And I've been telling these guys, and we're going to talk about it for the next couple weeks, that, you know, if you want to win a conference championship, you've got to be able to be really good for three days. And we're close, but we're not there yet. Here's a stat. In the, in the first set, you beat them 25-18, and it was a close 2.31-29 in the second set. And then again, it was 25-16 in the third set. Side out percentages in the two sets you won are 68 percent and 70 yeah. percent. In a, in, a, in a set that was close, it was 51 percent. Right. Yeah. And, you know, side out percentage is everything. I mean, if you're going to look at two statistics that are that are the most telling statistics, you're going to look at side out percentage and you're going to look at team hitting efficiency. And, and when we're good, those numbers are really good for us. And, and when we're able to, you know, control the ball and be in system and get our middles going, we, you know, we can put up a good number. And, and we just we we didn't really do that in game two. 
you switched up your outsides in the rotation. They both, you know, got a lot of swings. Teresha actually had more swings than she usually has in the L2 spot. Right. But you look at her, she had 11 kills, 11 digs, four aces, and, and, and Alicia had 11 kills and hit 375. So, you know, it was kind of a, a nice move that by you there. Right. Yeah, I want to put that, I want to put Teresa in the L2 spot just, I think it frees her up to play in the serve receive pattern a little easier, makes things a little easier for us uh, in terms of serve receive. And, and Teresa's a great ball control player, you know, and, and uh, Alicia seems to be able to carry the load, so we made that switch. Yeah, and the weekend, and the and this regular season next weekend at Siena and at Ryder. And right now you're in second place. You have a game on game and a loss column on both Canisius and Fairfield. Canisius has uh, Niagara left, and that's going to be a tough match for them. Sure. Fairfield, I believe, probably plays the same as we do. Right. Or, or, or right around the same. So. Right. Going into the last weekend, you know, you're in good shape to hold that number two seed going into the tournament. Right. And we haven't been there before, you know, I mean, not since I've been here. So, you know, I, we're, we're pretty proud of that, you know, and, and we've, we've had some great days that have, that have gotten us to that. So, you know, we certainly don't want to give up that number two spot. I mean, we want to go into the weekend, uh, you know, feeling good and ready to go. So we're going to take tomorrow off and we'll get in on Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and, and, and see what we can, you know, kind of change about our performance in game two tonight and, and hopefully uh, you know it's two tough places to play hopefully we'll have a good weekend well good luck and we'll talk to you the following week after this weekend uh, before the MAC championship thanks